How thick your helmet really is. When buying a helmet, many people expect it to be as thick as the steel plate it is made of, and manufacturers give you this number in the description. But will the actual thickness of the final product be the same after all the stages of manufacture? Let's find out! As you can see, the thickness of a steel plate for our future helmet is 2.5 mm. In this short video we will briefly show you some of the production stages and the results of the test we have done. First, one of our blacksmiths cuts a piece of metal of proper shape. For our test we have also drawn squares with 5 cm side lines on the workpiece to show you how their shape will change soon. And now, as the quote says, it's hammer time! This is how the half of the helmet looks like. For our experiment it is sufficient. As you can see, this square with number 16 on it is no longer a square. It has sides of 6 and 5.7 cm long now. We'll now cut it to small pieces to see which parts of the helmet have different thickness. And finally, this is how the cut helmet looks like, and we are ready to measure its pieces. One by one we have measured the thickness of different parts of the future helmet, and the results are quite interesting. It turns out that the part of the helmet that gets hit the most is also the thinnest part of the item. As you can see, the original thickness of the metal has dropped from 2.5 mm to 2 mm for some parts of the helmet. These are the parts that were stretched during the manufacture process. At the same time, other parts have preserved their original thickness or have become insignificantly thinner. So, what are the results? Now you know that some parts of the helmet become 20% thinner than the metal it was made of. The overall drop in thickness is about 10%, and the thickness of the helmet is heterogeneous. In other words, it is not the same for all the parts of the item. Here you can see some illustration that could help you to match the numbers we've got with the final product, the helmet itself. We hope this video was helpful and now you understand your helmets better. Thank you for watching and stay tuned!